Hi, how are you? Welcome to Sly Fox Tactical. This is our initial orientation video about who we are and, and what we're doing and who I am and who Vixen is and you can call me Gray Fox. That will be my name for this experiment. I am a Marine. Once a Marine, always a Marine. I'm a survivalist. My family comes from farmers. I spent a lot of time on farms growing up. I'm fairly decent at woodcraft. Uh, I enjoy woodcraft. I enjoy bushcraft. I enjoy uh, anything that has to do with nature. The last couple of years, however, uh, I've been kind of out of it. Uh, I've gotten lazy. I've gotten fat. Uh, I've been unmotivated. Netflix and chill is more... The chill part is more like permanent ass indention in theater seat chill and I really want to get back where I was I want to get back into it but most importantly I want Vixen uh, my wife to be a part of that with me so that's the point of this whole thing is to bring you with show you what we do uh, while I'm teaching her you may learn a thing or two while I'm teaching myself new skills you may learn a thing or two and from there we'll see where we go um, other than that, I'll let Vixen tell you what, uh, what her thoughts are, and we'll go from there. Hi, I'm Vixen. I'm a girly girl raised in suburbia, um, scared of anything with six or more legs, especially those things with more than six legs. Um, I've never been camping, hunting, fishing, not exactly an outdoorsy kind of girl. Um, I've never spent the night anywhere where I couldn't plug in a blow dryer, um, but I do love nature. I, I like walking through the woods. I love seeing animals um, in their natural habitat. I love plants and trees and, and just nature in general. Um, and I really do appreciate all that stuff. Um, I realized recently that I'm not prepared for a whole lot of anything in life in case of any kind of emergency, I wouldn't know what to do, where to start, um, what I need. Luckily for me, I'm married to Gray Fox. Um, he happens to be that kind of guy. He can do anything and everything, and crisis mode is where he belongs. He's always the guy with the answer, and he's calm and collected and knows exactly what needs to get done and where to go. So here we go on our adventure. He's going to teach me all that stuff. About time, right? Um, so we're hoping that you're going to follow along with us and watch all of our adventures. Um, some of them are going to be a little silly and funny and probably more than a little bit embarrassing for me. But hey, I'm willing to share it with y'all. <laughs> uh. <laughs> all right, so here we are together. Um, is there anything I left out? that you think I should mention? Well, you didn't mention your martial arts training. I think that's pretty important for people to know about. Um, okay. Uh, I was in martial arts from the time I was really, really little, and I've been involved in it basically my whole life. I've done uh, Kung Fu, Taekwondo, American Karate, uh, shoot boxing, kickboxing, um, and kind of developed my own system for uh, close combat and grappling that um, I think is most useful. Uh, one of my more, one of the things I'm, I guess I'm working on now is more of a, um, a close-up self-defense for uh, females. Um, that's kind of my focus right now for um, getting out of tough situations. So, yeah, that's that's kind of what I'm working on. Uh, and that's kind of my martial arts background. Does that work? Yeah, I okay. think so. All right. Um, so one thing you didn't mention is what changed your mind on getting involved in the survival stuff. <laughs> <laughs> well, you did mention how um, we like to chill. <laughs> yeah. Those permanent indentations in our theater seats. Yeah. Well, I think it was one too many episodes of The Walking Dead where I realized I wouldn't survive. Mm-mm, not me. 
you would probably be dragging me along someplace. I would be locked in a barn. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, what about what? What about the more realistic stuff? Like, you know, like maybe hurricanes and stuff like that. Well, you know, I mean, how many times have we seen these natural disasters on the news? Um, you know, starting with like Hurricane Katrina and yeah. Hurricane Sandy, where people were without power for a month at a time. Mm -hmm. We live in Florida currently. Um, a day without power here in Florida is pretty disastrous to us. Mm -hmm. So, what would happen to us if the power went out? I mean, if you're home, I know you'll take care of everything, but what if you're stuck at work because there's a natural disaster right. and I'm here or God forbid, I'm not even here. I'm having to hunker down at my job. Right. I wouldn't know absolutely. what to do. No, you're absolutely right. Um, no, absolutely. No, that's, that's good reasoning. And I'm really glad that you're getting involved in all this stuff. I mean, that, that makes me very happy. So, um, is there any other thing, anything else you think I should mention at all? I think I think they're going to learn a lot of this stuff as we go along, like about us and whatever else. I mean, we have a we have a long way to go and a lot yeah. of things to to demonstrate and show and and learn and figure out as we go. So, you know, you guys tell us if there's anything specific that you want to see or or anything specific um, that uh, that we're doing that you're enjoying or not enjoying. Um, so that we can uh, we can kind of tailor to uh, what you'd like to see. Um, but most importantly, I, I really hope that you learn something from what we're doing. Um, you know, our, where we're going to start, of course, is where we need to start, and that's with fitness. Um, we need to be in somewhat of a shape that um, I'm not going to really hurt myself uh, doing this and she's not going to hurt herself learning because that's yeah because that's <laughs> that's the last thing we want to do is uh, cause more problems for ourselves we both still have to go to work every day so it's important that we stay as injury free as possible um, so I think uh, I think that's where we'll start I think our first three months of videos probably what do you think maybe maybe I'll throw some other stuff in there too, like maybe some, some axe throwing and some other craziness uh, that I do. But for the most part, I think as far as our videos go, it'll probably take us about three months to get into uh, a reasonable shape where we feel, or where I feel we'll be um, able to accomplish what we want to do. Uh, the other day, I was screwing around, um, not so funny story, and. Uh, you know, my, my mind tells me that I can still do everything I used to do. Um, my body tells me another story. So anyways, I was doing uh, heel hook kicks on the on the bag. And the first couple felt really good. I was able to do it, no problem. Uh, third one, hamstring went bong, and I was out. And that was a, a real, <laughs> definite realization <laughs> that uh, I might want to uh, make sure I'm in good enough shape before we start doing a lot of the crazy stuff that that we can do. So, so the heavy bag took you out. The heavy bag took me out. I was destroyed by said heavy bag. It happens. It happens. Uh, anything else you want to add for this one? Um, well, you might be seeing some stuff down the road of um, us making a fire pit in the backyard. Um, a place to teach me how to start a fire. I've never done that. Um, you might see some archery videos. Um, we do dabble a little bit in that. And as well as the axe throwing. That's kind of fun, actually. A little mm -hmm. bit. I've done it a couple times. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, yeah, and I think somewhere about three months down the road where it's not ridiculously hot in the state of Florida. Um, you might actually see some videos of us hiking and maybe even camping. I'll have to figure out what to do with my hair. All right, guys. Uh, I think that's it for now. Um, just the uh, initial video. We'll have more posted shortly. And I hope you guys have a great day. See ya.
Bye. It's a night. Bye. It's a good day, sir. Good day. <laughs>